Okay, Jose, I'm going to show you how to get the PDF or HTML from EBSCO. So we've gone into the library services, or rather search into the library search the collection. We'll pick uh, research databases either from here or here, this part you know. We'll pick EBSCO. You'll log in on this screen. Okay, and I'm going to do a hypothetical search based on what you tell me your topic would be. So write down here, notice limit to full text and limit to peer review. I'm going to click those first. And in here I'm going to uh, type in technology. It's too broad, but you know that by now. But technology in science classroom. I won't get too many, but the purpose of this is just to show you how to get the full text. Okay, so uh, let's see. This article is 214. I'm search anything. Okay, so uh, it does say here we have the full PDF. So I'm going to click there to take a look, and I'll come back and show you a few other options in a minute. Okay, so I click there. And I actually got the full PDF right here. This time around, the whole entire thing is here for me. Okay, so let's say I wanted this article. Okay, if I was hooked to a printer right now and I opened it up, of course, there's an option here to just send it to a printer. You also could save it to a disk. And now at this point, you would email it to yourself. And just, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to email it to myself. And here, I'm just going to write down... Um, Annotated bibliographies, I know what it's for. And I probably would have skimmed the article and maybe written something else in here for now. And um, down here, if I want to, I can actually ask it to do the citation for me in APA format when it sends it. Okay, so this article we only had available in PDF, and I was able to access it right away. Okay. Now, when I send it to myself, I could send it in plain text, but I'm just going to do send. I'm fine with a PDF, okay, and I'm ready to email it to myself, and it would be in my Gmail account, okay? Now, I'm going to show you another possibility here. Let's say you just clicked here, and you got to the abstract, which seems to be what's been happening for you, and it looks like an article you could use. Before you send it to yourself, notice here on the left, the option PDF full text and it pops up because that's the article we just looked at. I'm going to do another one where I'm going to get a choice maybe of a PDF and an HTML. So I'm back in my database. Okay, result list. Okay. Um, actually, a lot of these are PDF and a full text. So, uh, Okay, this one has a choice, HTML or PDF. Now, let's say I hadn't seen that, and I clicked here. Okay, when I open it up and I read that abstract, of course I could send that to myself, but here I have the choice to send it to myself as a PDF or an HTML. So right here, if I want to look at it in HTML, I would click there. That's what it looks like. Okay. I don't know if I'd really want this article. It looks like a research study, but I haven't really skimmed it, so it could be more than what you need for our course, but you're welcome to maybe use that article if it looks of interest to you. Or I could go back right now and ask for the PDF. And the PDF is going to be the way it would look in a regular journal. And I think usually I think people find that a little easier to look at, but sometimes you only have a choice of the HTML. So again, if you've already opened up the article and you're getting just the abstract, Look over here on the left, as I did before. Okay, and it gives you the two choices. Okay, and uh, then of course once you open it up in the format you want it in, either print it directly from there, save it to disk if you want, send it to yourself, or um, I think you know you could print it, I guess from there as well if you're hooked to a printer. Okay, and remember it's a good idea to switch this over to APA. 
Now, if you're off campus and you're doing this and you've emailed to yourself, you may have to uh, log back in to um, that blue magic page once you get to EBSCO. So I think, you, um, I think we've gotten enough in there for you for now to understand what to do.